Alright guys, we are playing Trimir into Teemo. We're trying out a different strategy to try to see if we can get some better pressure onto Teemo. So we're taking Cleanse, which can cleanse hit both his Blind and his Ignite. And we took Glacial Augment to stick onto the Teemo. Now he did take Grasp, which is very good for laning. Uh, I'm thinking my build will scale in the mid game. But if I don't get like a level 1, level 2 cheese, I think my skill will scale, my build will scale well into the mid game, allowing us to kill the team up very easily. Early game, I pre I'm thinking pretty much no matter what you build, you're going to have a hard time versus Teemo. Because that's just, you know, how Teemo versus Trend is. But I'm thinking this might give us an earlier power spike. So trying this out. This will be a slaughter. Just building up a little bit of fury. I am your worst nightmare. Ooh, a crit on the first auto. Feels good. I got three auto attacks there uh, because of the glacial augment. Ooh. Got his flash already? I mean, I am putting the pressure on this guy. Maybe Glacial Augment with Ignite would have been pretty good too. Because with Ignite, I think I could dive him there. But, got his flash. I'll take it. Let's see how Evelyn got here. <clears throat> this is building up my fury again. Oh, he actually missed that cannon. Feels good. This team is getting beat up, man. He has 7 CS, I have 16. <gasps> cancel! Oh, I cancel my auto attack! No! He also made me... Oh, that was a really bad cleanse. Because uh, his blind still um, made me miss my first auto attack, and then I canceled my second auto. Feels bad. I feel like if I cleanse perfectly there, I could have uh, I could have killed Teemo. Damn. Oh well. This will be a so low. Didn't Grave say he was gonna camp top? I think I'm gonna camp top. What do you think about that, Trinda? Come on, man. Where's my camp? No F. No flash! The reason I got minion dematerializer, by the way, is so I just never miss another cannon. I've had enough of these Teemos blinding me as I'm about to hit the cannon minion. Plus, what's gonna happen here? He's gonna try to push me in, right? And then reset. But if I use Minion Dematerializer, I can potentially like stop him from resetting. You see how I'm thinning out the Minion Wave just with Minion Dematerializer? Mm, this guy still has no flash. Where's this Graves Camp that he was talking about? I want to see it. Oh, team go back. This will be a slaughter. <laughs> I am 
Okay, I think we just go back here. <coughs> and they do have really high amount of magic damage. I think we just get this. Wave shoving tort. Wait, he got a cult? Yeah, just like what? This guy is like a next level team player. I guess he's going for a late game. That was pretty easy. I mean, I have Merc Treads, this guy's not getting away. Uh, my first item, I think, is going to be Blade of the Rune King, just so I can use the Glacial Augment to, uh, like, Ice Field. So let me read this off to you. Slowing a champion with active items shoots a freeze ray through them, freezing the nearby ground for 5 seconds, slowing all units inside by 60%. So usually when we get this, it slows the champion's move speed by 25% for 2 seconds, but potentially with the freeze ray it could slow even more. I gotta remember where this that, that mushroom is. I'll never miss a cannon minion again. This'll be a slaughter. Yeah, even before Graves came, I was like up in CS against him. Follow my blade. You should have ignite there. Alright, so the mechanic I did there was uh, I walked back into the turret shot to tank the turret shot with my ulti, um, and then I backed back out, out of turret range. If you guys were curious about like why I walked back into the turret shot, so that's the reason why I lived there. Hey, Timo Flash there, right? You guys confirm? I know he ignited. Yeah, this build is actually so good for all ending Teemo, what the hell? Like, I just went Merc Treads first, I'm gonna Glacial Augment, he actually can't get away from me. <laughs> Wait, it's, it's actually stupid. Alright, even from level 1 I was pressuring him pretty hard. Be a the cleanse actually helped out quite a bit, because I got rid of the Shroom slow, uh, the Shroom damage, and I got rid of the Bund on 1. Now, when we use our Cutlass, we'll have a little Freeze Ray. Just gotta wait for ult to come back up. That's that menu up. We'll still push this. I mean, we have flash advantage, I'm pretty sure. This'll be a slaughter.
Ow. I am your world. This hurts. I think Gray's got him though, right? I'm gonna say my boy Graves. So it looks like he got a little bit of health. Plus I don't have my cleanse for his blind, so it's like harder for me to all in him there. Once I get my Blade the Rune King, I should be able to all in him basically uh, on command. What if I got QSS as well? So QSS and uh, cleanse. Just so I'm just never blinded. Because honestly, the blind tilts me. I hate that shit. Wait, they even get a turret bottom. You guys should also notice as well that I have approach velocity. So when I hit my W, hit my Glacial Augment, hit my Cutlass uh, on the team, I'm also gaining 15% movement speed, which is really nice. <coughs> I have my stopwatch for potential play. Maybe I'll pull a bit of Fury for a fight him. I think my next item I'll go for after building uh, Blade the Rune King is I'll build Fame Dancer. Just so I don't get creep blocked. Oh, is this guy building Frozen Mallet? Oh no. Frozen Mallet won't kite me whatsoever. Not with this build. He's, uh, he's taking the wrong build versus me. Oh, what this... A couple times. I don't want to. I want this wave to uh, hit up here and not so close to his turret. Ow! The pain! Oh! Holy shit, he got play! Let's go! That guy got played. Holy. Demolished that Teemo. It's all because of the build. This Teemo is just not having a good day. I'm get blade. Go towards uh, Fam Dancer here. Fam Dancer gives us crit, just a little extra damage. Uh, more crits also means more spins, means more damage, means more mobility. And uh, we also don't get creep off. <laughs> Walk in my ice field. You guys really want me. Hey, Timo, you're not going to do much better against two people. You can't even handle me. You're supposed to be counterpicking me, Timo.
Oh, this cleanse, now that I think about it, is going to be really useful against Bard, too. Oh, no. And I, not right here, because I don't have my cleanse up or no. healing up a little bit before I go back to lane. I mean, Teemo can't handle me. That's why they uh, are sending the two-person uh, lane against me. The duo lane. I have cleanse him next time. I think with cleanse I can just uh, run down the Draven. I don't even know if they want to face against me right now though. That bar's on there. Oh, Teemo's back. I don't have a vault though. Ooh, I got a red buff though. As soon as my ult's back, I'm killing Teemo. Team was worth gold again, exactly as planned. Maybe I don't even have to ult, uh, cleanse his initial blind. Um, I could just cleanse the ignite at the end there. That's probably what I should have done. Because I had an extra like second or so after killing Teemo. Yeah, I think that's what I should have done. That's alright though. We killed the team off. We did our duty. Right. One, that Draven ult was bad. Two, that Flash was bad. Team of finally has his mallet. Why is he slow pushing it? I think if Draven walks up and tries to hold wave against Twitch, if he doesn't, I'm just gonna go bot. Let's just wave all the way in. I have time. Because I ultimately want that bot wave, right? Oh, wait, never mind. The grave's taking it. I mean, he's pretty fed. He's got six kills. I can see why he's trying to take it. I should be bot side of the map, though. What is this build? This build counters team out. Glacia augment to slow him down, cleanse to get rid of the blind. And I got Blaze Rune King, Fan Dancer, and Merc Treads. Blaze Rune King is stick onto him, also creates the ice path with the Glacia augment amplifying the slow. Uh, Fan Dancer to not get creep locked, also helps stick onto him. And we got Merc Treads for uh, like MR plus a uh, little bit of tenacity. Ow. Oh! 
I think I flash on a shroom. <laughs> no. That little bonk from Rectus. I think the downside of this build is that I don't have ignite damage, I don't have conquer damage. So since team is a little bit tankier, I'm gonna take a lot more hours to kill him. So I'm probably gonna go on Finny Edge here for a little bit of true damage. And uh, some AD. And I'll probably go uh, Last Whisper. My right arm is a lot stronger. Go strong, than thanks my for your prime sub, appreciate it. <laughs> Okay, well we saw Evelyn's hate spikes in the fog of war, right? Pretty sure that's what they're called at least. Okay, so she's in the bush. It's alright with my W. Oh yeah, she's still hanging around here. They're looking for a pick on me. I mean, what can Teemo do? He thinks he's the one slowing me down that first mallet. But I got the Glacial Augment to counter it. Like, what other trend build can just, like, murder Teemo with first mallet like that? And I ran to all the shrooms. I can catch up one. Mm, actually, I gotta watch out for a little bomb. Quick twitch got him. An enemy has been slain. Oh wait, she missed her. I had a fifty-two point five percent slow. He missed the charm. That's unfortunate. I am your worst yeah, I'd even save my ult there. I'm gonna run towards Baron actually. They might need my help. Evelyn has better smite than Graves. Go Sona. I 
Mm, it's all kind of low. I don't know if they could do Baron. What is this? I'm gonna build. Where's the Arden? Damn. The Graves went from, I think he was 6 and 0, now he's 6 and 4. I mean, if he's gonna take my bot waves like this, he needs to at least carry, right? Like, he's getting all this uh, CS and, like, bubbles. But, uh, he actually isn't doing anything with it. I mean, as I said at the beginning of this game, this build was designed to beat Teemo. I don't care about anyone else. I am, your word. I am going to beat this little rat, though. Sucks they got double. I don't know where. Oh, there is one. Or mid. Actually, it's five mid, right? Because that one showed. Okay, we got two dead. If they go after me instead of Baron, that's actually a good thing. One more auto, I think, would have killed him. But yeah, they could have done Baron right there, but instead they went after me. So, I think that's pretty good overall. I think, wait, wasn't Graves alive? Where'd Graves die at? Dead here? Okay, they actually might get Baron. Uh, we can't stop Baron, they got it. It was a good call for me to drag them bottom after they got the two picks, because one, I got the inhib turret, which is good. And two, I dragged them away from Baron, so they can't do it. You know, while we're waiting for respawns. That one has no ult. Okay. We got a few picks. So only Bard and Tima have burned. Get the third and fire. I'll take red then go fire dragon. Let's go push out bottom. As you wish.
no shroom in here. I wonder if it's warded. <coughs> He's got a lot of damage now. But so do I. No warden here. Or else those minions would have attacked me. This'll be a slaughter. Like, that's playing really far back. I need a pressure if my team's walking out. Oh, twist didn't work. Really much that Timo can do about that. I just run him down, right? He can't kite me. Even with Mallet. Like, so as far as like dueling Timo, like even liking. That's ridiculous. Nice. I mean, that's how you counter Teemo, what the hell? <laughs> Alright, let me give it to... Uh... I'll give it to Grace. He did gank a couple times. I see the damage. That's pretty much what I thought. Wow. Which actually did the least. Hmm. 